a show that always makes you smile at the sports box where the only opinion that matters it's right here that's all right I, I am Mike Galletta aka Hamilton Mike along with my partner Brian the Ranger of Tard bringing you another absolutely freaking solid special that you just can't get enough of that you're begging us to send out here for you and we're going to do it for you absolutely. today's today's week eight sorry cut off Today's week eight, we're going to talk start and sit. And I'm going to start off, what a surprise. I'm going to start with quarterbacks to start this week. I think Matt Ryan's a great start this week. Home against Green Bay, this game's going to be an absolute shootout. Matt Ryan, remember, has been playing well this year. Other than the last maybe game or two, he's kind of slowed down a little bit, but he's still a solid player. Um, you know, Green Bay's got problems in their secondary and on their own road, so I, I definitely think it's a great play. Well, especially because the Green Bay strength is their run defense. So you yep. got to figure Matt Ryan's yep. going to throw a little bit more. Yep. Um, my start's Russell Wilson of the Seahawks down in New Orleans. So Wilson has not really played overly well this season. He definitely hasn't rewarded you for taking him in your fantasy drafts where you took him. But when you're playing the Saints defense, you're a start. Uh, Wilson will play very well this week. Get him in your lineup. So it should be one of his better games of the season for sure. Yep. And my sit this week has got to be Carson Palmer of the Arizona Cardinals. Carson Palmer, you know, on the road this week at Carolina. The cross-country thing, number one. Number two is that 6-6 six and six mess they had in Seattle, or at home against Seattle last week. That didn't impress me at all. And number three is Carolina's coming off a bye week. you got two weeks to prepare for a team. This is not a good spot for Carson Palmer. Even though Carolina's defense isn't the same, I don't think it's a good spot for him at all. I'm sitting at Carson, too. How about that? How about that? Imagine that. I'm suggesting you sit Carson Wentz against Dallas. Now, take, forgive my hat and my hoodie for a minute. There's actually a reason I'm telling you to do this. Mm -hmm. So, Wentz has struggled in the last couple of games against the Redskins, against the Vikings. Now, anybody who watches the show knows I do not think much of the Dallas Cowboys defense. Not at all. In all likelihood, you didn't draft Wentz to be your starter. So, if he's on my team, I'm looking elsewhere until I see him have another good game before I feel confident in starting him again. Um, I just don't know how good of a game he's going to have. And again... That's really not a shot against him. The Dallas defense is really very good. It's just he has struggled, so I'd like to see him do better before I start. It's very interesting. Your Carson Wentz conversation with Dallas stuff on. Very, hey. very interesting. That's what it um, is. Yeah, it is. And then we hear the sports box, by the way. Um, running back, I'm going to start Spencer Ware, uh, Kansas City running back. He's played well the last couple weeks. Jamal Charles, you know, got a couple carries, but Spencer Ware is carrying the load right now in Indianapolis. Again, Spencer Ware playing well, and Indianapolis 22nd against the run. I definitely think got to start him if you have him. Put him in your lineup. I'm starting Devontae Booker against the San Diego Chargers. Yeah. Uh, so now that C.G. Anderson's going down with injury and it's torpedoing two of my fantasy teams, uh, this is going to be Booker's backfield. Uh, he gets his first career start against the Charger defense and has got a lot of running back to get in the end zone for the last five games. It's their second straight road game. Again, they played in Atlanta last week, got that overtime win. Could be a little tired not playing a home game there. Again, there, there's no split. It's his job. I think he has a really, really strong game against the Chargers. And my sit this week, sorry Eagles fans, it's Ryan Matthews. If you have him, he's only averaging three yards a carry right now. He's doing great after the pass, but in the same sense, Dallas is third against the run. I don't think this is a good spot for, for Ryan Matthews at all. you got to sit in this week. They're in trouble. My, my running back starts a guy actually I love. I love Jordan Howard, but he's playing the Vikings this yeah. week. Um, you know, unfortunately, he's seen his role reduced in the last few games. I'm not mm -hmm. sure that has a lot to do with game flow or getting Kadeem Carey back, but, you know, a matchup against the Vikings is not really going to help the cause here. Um, you know, I think he might see an uptick in volume, or at least the running game as an overall might see an uptick in volume because the quarterback situation is so up in the air. I think Matt Barkley started, and that's not a recipe for success at all. Um, you know, I would just temper the expectations. Again, Howard's another guy that you didn't draft him, obviously, to be a starter for you. If you have other options that you can play, play them until the Howard thing kind of fixes itself. Carry in 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 uh, getting more touches, like you said, and now Langford back. That's a crowded backfield, and that's a team that's got to throw to get back in games. And, and so. I still think Howard's a more talented guy there, yeah, but absolutely. it just depends how the game goes. Yeah, yeah. Wide receiver, no shock here. I'm starting Mike Evans this week, because Mike Evans has had two 100-yard-plus games. He's going against an Oakland defense that's 26th against the pass. Um, like I said, Mike Evans is playing well, and he's a big target. For um, for Jameis Winston right now, Vincent Jackson out. Not that he was getting a lot of play, but he's out. Less targets to throw to him and Cameron Bray. I think Mike Evans is going to get a lot of balls this week. You like Mike Evans, huh? Uh, a little bit. Interesting. A little bit. That's okay. to it. Um, oh, okay. Good luck. I, Sorry. I'm Sorry. suggesting that you start Doug Baldwin this week against the against the Saints. Um, Again, the same rationale here as I am with Russell Wilson. Uh, again, I don't think Baldwin's had that great of a year, especially not for his, you know, roughly fourth or fifth 
round pick grade or so. Uh, but it should be a high scoring game for the Seahawks, and you're going to want to take advantage of that and get as many of your Seahawks in there as possible. Uh, but Baldwin, I think, is the one guy that can definitely benefit from the passing game. My sit at wide receiver this week, sorry, Florida State fans, it's going to be Calvin Benjamin. Calvin Benjamin with the Carolina Panthers. Okay, he's having an okay year. He's not lighting it up like he did a couple years ago, but that's to be expected. But Carolina's offense is a mess right now. They're up and down. They have one good week. They don't have a good week. They're playing an Arizona defense in Carolina. Yes, they're coming off the bye week, but in the same sense, he's going to see a lot of uh, Peterson this week. I don't like the matchup. I think he's a sit. I also think Kelvin is a sit, but I'm going to actually sit a different Benjamin as well. Travis Benjamin mm. of the Chargers against Denver. They both got dreads. And I'm, yeah, and I'm saying that again. It's, it's just a bad matchup, and you see what the Denver defense does to these receivers. You know, every week it just it seems like they, nobody can really ever get going. Mm. Um, I just think again. Benjamin's another one of these guys that's probably played well for you the past couple weeks, but you weren't drafting him to be a starter. Not something I expect a lot to see again from the San Diego offense this week, so I'm sitting Travis Benjamin. My tight end start, I'm actually loving this one. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this one, folks. I'm going to start Jimmy Graham. And what a surprise, Jimmy Graham going back to the place where he was traded from. New Orleans, the worst pass defense in the league. Jimmy Graham, more and more every week, getting stronger and healthier. Got nine targets last week, got ten the week before. Oh, my. Look out, home cooking. The Saints are in a lot of trouble. Jimmy Graham coming to town. Get him in the lineup. For I think you might like my tight end pick. Okay, go ahead. Cameron Bray. Oh, my. Got to put Oh, my God. Go ahead. Cameron Bray. Fire it up, folks. Of the box That's against right, the baby. Oakland Raiders. So, Bray's going to get a start here against an Oakland defense that Mike mentioned has is really – porous against the pass. They've allowed tight ends into the end zone each of the last three games, and I do think Winston looks his way in this Super Bowl rematch. I tell you, I don't, I don't, I like Evans as well, but I think you might see break in a couple, uh, maybe get a couple touchdowns here, depending if they try to cover Evans a little bit more uh, to offset his. The Bucs race. did win that Super Bowl, didn't they? I believe that they did. That's you know who they beat on the way to that Super Bowl? That would be the Philadelphia Eagles. They did. They closed the vet, remember? And they that? opened up the link. That's uh, right, uh, folks. Sorry, we had to get that in there, and that wasn't planned. That was just off the cuff. So. Congratulations to us for getting it off. Uh, kickers, of course, I love to give you the kicker. Brian's out of this category, but someday he'll get back in. Uh, the, my start kicker this week's got to be Mason Crosby. Again, that game, Green Bay against Atlanta, is going to be a, and I don't know about a field goal war, but it's going to be a point fest. They're going to get in range. They're going to score touchdowns. Take the over. That, game, that, game, that over could be 78. Take the over. That's going to be a monster game. And my, my sit this week, Mike Nugent. Going over to London this week, playing his game. You know what? They're not kicking footballs over there. They're kicking soccer balls. So I don't care if they're good he is. Don't take my good job. Did you have a tight end set? Oh, you know what? I did. I was so excited about the Jimmy Brown. You were so excited about the kickers. Yeah, I got, I got you get excited about kickers. Man. I do. And my sit tight end this week is going to be Charles Clay. Here's a guy from Buffalo. It's dropped off up and down a little bit, but dropped off the last couple weeks, and he's facing a New England defense, even though they're home. Buffalo is not getting the ball to the tight end. They're getting the ball to the receivers, and they're running the ball at McCoy. Don't know how much McCoy's going to play this week, but Charles plays definitely a sit, and New England's only allowing two points to tight ends this year, so I definitely think he's a sit this week. Uh, my sit, Zach Ertz, against the Cowboys. Um, you know, if you're an Eagle fan, you know, mm. you've been waiting for this guy to break out, and he just never seems to do it. He's been an upcoming trend with the Eagles. I believe he has as many touchdowns at this point in his career as LJ Smith did. <laughs> Um, you know, so I think some of that, again, Carson Wentz has not played great the last two games. The Eagles have won a game there, uh, but a lot of that was their defense and special teams. Um, I don't think he can start Ertz right now with any sort of confidence, so I would look elsewhere if possible um, with your tight end spot. I just don't think that did Ertz you, does it for did you. Did you just say L.J. Smith? L.J. Smith. Oh, my God, from Rutgers. Oh, did my you God, know? from Rutgers. Oh. Did you know who L.J. Smith was drafted ahead of? No, I don't know. Who. Jason Witten. Wow, that was a good pick right we there. Just, we just dropped knowledge all day. Wow, long. wow. And Novacek got released from the Cardinals in the beginning, didn't he, too? That's, all we do is drop knowledge here. Um, defensively, I'm going to start Seattle. No surprise there, playing in those New Orleans Saints who stink. Um, you know, Drew Brees, as much as he's going to have to throw the ball to get back in this game, it's going to be a bloodbath. you got to take Seattle. I'm going to throw another one in there for you just for kicks. The Texans. I'm going to take the Texans against the Lions. Matt Ryan going to Houston. Guess what? Houston's home. Uh oh, they're gonna win the game. So you gotta take that. Starting a defense against the Saints at home, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Surprisingly, isn't look it? at that. Yeah. Uh, my defensive start is the New York Jets uh, against the Cleveland Browns. Uh, so, uh, summary here: the Jets are playing the Cleveland Browns. I don't think mm -hmm. I need to break that down for you much. I think you should probably just start the Jets. Just take my word. Oh, not that break it down. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the um, sit this week for my two defenses, and that's right. I'm gonna give you two more. Oh, I'm just, I'm double dip. I'm loaded. The daily double here on the. I'm sports loaded with info over here. It's just crazy to that. That Cameron Brady thing set me over the edge. Um, I'm gonna take the Bills not to play this week, even though the Bills have played well in the last couple weeks. 
they're playing the Patriots, folks. They're really going to have to actually turn the ball over or, or get turnovers to win that game, but they're not going to do that. And the Packers, the Packers are good defense, just in the same sense that the Packers Falcons game is going to be a shootout. So there's not going to be a lot of points on defense. So I think you said the Packers as well. I, I said I was going to say the Bills this week again against the Patriots. I mean, the last time these two teams played, New England didn't score a point, but I don't think Tom Brady played in that game. Mm. And usually it's not in your best interest to start a defense against Tom Brady's Patriots. Yeah. Look elsewhere. Yep, so let me grab this for you. And remember, at the Sports Box, we got some good things coming. Always good things coming here. Especially when Mike puts the helmet on. You know, something, goddamn something, right. something good's going to happen. But of course, we're all over social media. We're at Sports Box Show on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube where you can subscribe. Make sure that you're following us so you can get all our data ready get ready to go when it's ready for you. That's right, because we're ready to go at the Sports Box. Ready to ho I'd, re I'd headbutt him right now, but I don't want to give him a concussion. He's so. worn two different helmets on this show tonight. That so, might, that's a show record. I might throw the semi-pro helmet on in a second. But remember, at the Sports Box, the only opinion that freaking matters is right here. Thanks for watching, folks. Make sure you're subscribing. See you. Don't forget to subscribe.